from the Technology Center on the campus of Herkimer College. This is HCTV News, a student-produced newscast covering Herkimer County and the community it serves. Hello, I'm Sean Messier and welcome to HCTV News from Herkimer College. We're here every Thursday afternoon this semester at 5 o'clock with a full half-hour newscast produced by students enrolled in communication arts programs here at Herkimer. HCTV News is a production of Advanced Video Production Students. Concerns over the search for a new Herkimer College president are now being further complicated by recent suggestions from area politicians that Herkimer merge with Mohawk Valley Community College. With talks of a proposed merger, members of the Herkimer community are expressing concerns of their own regarding the next step. Have you heard anything about the uh, search for a new president for Herkimer? Um, I haven't heard much about it, but I knew a couple of parents were upset that we haven't had one. Okay, and um, what about the merger that has been proposed between uh, Herkimer and Mohawk Valley Community College? Um, I also heard from uh, a concerned parent that they were, they, they're very happy that Herkimer is uh, its own school, I guess, and they're upset that it was going to be combined with another one. So that's pretty much it. So what have you heard about Herkimer College's search for a uh, new president? Um, besides the fact that she left and that they're looking for a new president, I haven't really heard much else. And how about a merger between Herkimer and Mohawk Valley Community College? I heard rumors that we could be merging administration and or student body, which I'm not sure how that would work, if they would use two separate campuses or if they would just make a new campus, considering the fact that they're pushing this to be a four-year university now. As of right now, the official response from the Herkimer College administration is that the Board of Trustees has had several meetings to discuss search firms, but has not yet officially begun the search for the next president. Herkimer College's next scheduled board meeting is March 26th at 6 p.m. Herkimer College will be holding its annual career fair two weeks from now on Thursday, March 27th. The, the career fair is a great way for students to meet potential employers in the area and even just learn more about a job that they had an interest in. This year, Carbone Auto Group, Bank of America, Fax and St. Luke's, among other businesses, will be set up at the fair looking at students from Herkimer College as prospective employees. The event will take place in the RMCC lobby from 11.30 a.m. until 1.30 p.m. on Thursday, March 27th. Herkimer is proud to have produced many successful alumni over the years. And just recently, local radio personality Genesee Joe Trisolino, class of 1992, celebrated his one-year anniversary at his current station, 92.7 The Drive. Joe was kind enough to take time out of his busy radio schedule to speak with HCTV News about what it's been like working at The Drive, and he may have even mentioned an upcoming event for the station in this year's St. Paddy's Day Parade. Yeah, uh, you know, I've been in radio, it'll be 22 years in the spring, but just about a year ago, I made the switch over to 92.7 FM, The Drive. Um, you know, the listenership was headed that way, so I went with them. But uh, it was time for a change, and I wanted to get back working with guys like Tom Starr, uh, a mentor and a guy who actually first hired me in radio years ago. And now uh, Jerry Krause is here in Allison, and even new friends like Dave Phoenix and guys that we worked with, Jack Moran and Rick DeVoe. So this was kind of like where the radio family was for me anyways. And... Um, it just, it, it seemed like a no-brainer. I mean, I like the music better. We're a lot freer with what we play and what we do and uh, the relaxed atmosphere. I mean, I, could, I can walk to work and really, if I want to, I can bring the dog with me and we can both do the show together. So uh, it's just, it, it's the best move I ever made and, you know, one of the most relaxing, best places I've ever worked. It, the most relaxed, best place I've ever worked. It's just great. Well, uh, Monday was my first show, and uh, today is the anniversary of that, so we got some good things lined up. St. Patrick's Day, what we're going to do is see the drive. Uh, one thing we do is we like to, and I've always done this, promote local bands and local music. So I've got in a guitar me together, the big green guitar machine, St. Patty's Day Parade guitar me is what we're calling it. And uh, it's going to be, I'm going to, a lot of guys. A lot of guys. I'm not going to give the exact number, but we're upwards of 50 so far. Guys, walking information in drive shirts, playing guitar. Whether it's acoustic or electric with, you know, a little battery amp over their neck. 
And uh, we're just going to be playing some simple three-chord rock songs because that's what the whole world of rock and roll was built on, the three-chord song. And it kind of ties into the way we support local musicians because they are all local guys. Many, many local bands are going to join us. And, um, you know, it's going to be as much visual spectacle as audio spectacular. You can hear more from Genesee Joe on 92.7 The Drive weekdays at 3 p.m. If you're wondering what Herkimer College has to offer you, you might want to check out the upcoming Open House two weeks from Saturday on March 29th. The event serves as a way for prospective students to get a better look at Herkimer College and see what kinds of things we have that might interest them. At the Open House, which takes place in the RMCC building, you can take a tour of the campus, check out majors that might interest you, and even get to see a live new broadcast. News broadcast. That's right, HCTV News will be broadcasting live from the event to showcase the radio TV department and the college as a whole. So be sure to say hello if you see us at the fair, which is happening Saturday, March 29th from 9.30 a.m. until 1 p.m. And for those of you who can't make it, tune into HCTV for our live coverage. Just a reminder, if you're enrolled in communication arts, degree, communication arts course, courses, you may need fieldwork hours. There are many opportunities available throughout the semester to fulfill this fieldwork re requirement, including HCTV's Play to the Camera, which currently has two upcoming episodes scheduled. For more information on Play to the Camera and other fieldwork opportunities, check the TC building for sign-up sheets and come see Mr. Flanagan. There's more news straight ahead after the break. During HCTV News here on HCTV, I'm Sean Messier. Chris Klausner will join us after the break. He's up next with your complete weather forecast. Stay with us. Coming up next, the weather outlook for Herkimer and the surrounding areas here on HCTV News. Stay with us. Jump into the world of radio production and electronic media at Herkimer County Community College's 91.5 FM WVHC. When the semester kicks in, students take over the airwaves, turning their dreams and ideas into real live radio. Topping Herkimer County Community College news today with graduation soon approaching. Are you the next big voice? Find your home on the airwaves at Herkimer County Community College and WVHC. For more information, go to www.herkimer.edu. Families come in all sizes and shapes. Sometimes your friends are your family by choice. Or sometimes you're just stuck with Uncle Charles. Sometimes you've got an office family. And sometimes team family has got your back. But what we know is that you want to protect the people that are close to you. The flu can unravel everything. Your flu vaccine protects you and your family. No matter what draws your family together, protect yourself, protect your family. Everyone needs a flu vaccine. Apheresis, a Greek word meaning to take away. What if apheresis meant you could have uninterrupted time to watch TV or your favorite movie while saving lives at the same time? The Red Cross uses apheresis machines to save the lives of cancer patients. By separating your platelets, the Red Cross is able to get the blood to the people who need it. Contact your local Red Cross for more information. Make an appointment. Donate. Reschedule. Someone you love may just depend on it. Now, the weather outlook for Herkimer and the surrounding areas, here on HCTV News. Welcome back to HCTV News here on HCTV. I'm Sean Messier. And I'm Chris Klausner for HCTV News Weather. So, Chris, the weather has been pretty warm in Herkimer pretty late, or lately until yesterday or today. It actually got a lot colder. Can we see a change in that? I think we're going to see a big change uh, starting tomorrow. Uh, things are looking up for sure. Okay, that sounds good. All right, and now let's take a look at our AccuWeather forecast brought to you by our friends at weatherunderground.com. And as you can see, it's mostly clear around our uh, neck of the woods here, except for maybe this part over here in Michigan. We got some precipitation. It shouldn't bother us too much after our storm uh, yesterday has completely passed, and it's going to be clear 
in uh, going on until tonight and it's going to get colder uh, down around four degrees and and it's going to be cloudy winds coming from the west 10 degree or 10 miles per hour and tomorrow we're going to see a big change in temperature going all the way up to 43 degrees and with a low of 34. It's going to be partly cloudy and winds coming from the south with a 10 to 15 mile per hour uh, gust there. And Saturday, we're going to experience a high of 39, low of 18, uh, maybe a few uh, snow and rain showers later on in the uh, day, mostly cloudy, and there's a 40% chance of that. And on Sunday, we're going to have a high of 22, low of 6, mostly cloudy, and winds from the northwest at 10 to 20 miles per hour. And now our extended outlook for the rest of the week. We're going to have a high of 25 on Monday with a low of 6, some clouds there. High of 26, uh, and for Tuesday, high of 36, low of 20. And Wednesday, we're going to experience some showers with a high of 41 and a low of 28. Okay, thanks, Chris, for that weather update. When we return, Melissa Curl is going to get you caught up on the latest regarding the Herkimer General Sports Teams. Stay with us. Catch up with the Herkimer General Sports Teams. After the break, it's Sports Wrap, here on HCTV News. I never get the flu. My kids don't need more shots. I don't have time. We're all healthy. No matter how you build your excuses, the flu can blow your house down. I can't believe I used up all my sick time. I missed a week of school during finals. Now my baby has it because of me. The hospital? Keep your foundation strong. Vaccinate. Are you out of shape? Would you like to start a healthier lifestyle? Then come check out our state-of-the-art fitness facility here on the Herkimer County Community College campus. The fitness center is equipped with cardiovascular equipment, dumbbells, and life fitness circuit training machines. Take a few laps around the indoor track or come up to the Crispin Pool, which is open for various community programs throughout the year. For more information about the fitness center, go to herkimer.edu or call 866-0300, extension 8215. Good evening, welcome to Sports Wrap here on HCTV News. I'm Melissa Kroll bringing you the latest on the Herkimer General sports teams. Topping the headlines right now is the women's swim team. While we were enjoying mild temperatures of about 40 degrees last Saturday, the four best swimmers of the Herkimer Generals were in Florida. They were there fighting for first at nationals. Swimming at Indian River State College, Herkimer had six top 10 finishes and reached a team high of 288 points which, by the way, is the highest number of points earned by a swimming team under head coach Vicki Brown. In the end, the Generals took ninth place. Grabbing the six top ten finishes were Alexandra Wellen, Erin Hutchison, Christina Reynolds, and Caitlin Winnie as a group. Records were broken for each of the girls. One of the most notable came from Erin Hutchison. She knocked 24.62 seconds from her 1,650-yard freestyle. Her time of 22 minutes, 16 seconds, and 59 milliseconds made another school record for the Generals this season. Congratulations to the ladies on their top 10 finish. Spring break starts next week, and at least two basketball players have pretty good reasons to use the extra time to celebrate. Jonathan Filer was recently announced as the Region 3 Player of the Year. The Liberal Arts and Sciences General Studies major scored 734 points in his 32 games played, the most in the nation. Filer also made it to the 2014 All-Region team along with teammate Ensign Garcia. Garcia, who is also a Herkimer College General Studies major, earned the Region 3 Tournament Most Valuable Player Award for averaging 18 points, 6 rebounds, and 3 assists in the Region 3 Tournament. Basketball coach Matt Lee said Jonathan and Ensign are very deserving of their accolades earned this season. It's been a pleasure coaching them. The season isn't over yet for the duo. They'll be playing at Suffolk Community College this Saturday for the national title. Quarterfinals did take place earlier today, and in just a few minutes, Sean Messier will have the score for you on that. Last week here on HCTV News, we looked into the recent rebranding of Herkimer College. One of the most noticeable changes was the introduction of the new Herkimer College logo. But we also have a new Herkimer Generals logo as well. We spoke with the Director of Public Relations, Rebecca Ruffing, about the new face of the Generals and what changes are to come in the Athletics Department. 
We also um, came out with a new athletic logo, Herkimer General's logo, and as you know, we are very successful with our athletic program, 44 national championships, and so this new logo also honors our tradition, Herkimer General, uh, General Herkimer, and he is a much more serious and competitive looking general. And so as we move forward, we hope to see uniforms that are consistent, athletic uniforms that are consistent from sport to sport, so you're not seeing all different colors being worn, um, so that when you do see our teams out there, you know that it's Herkimer College, it's the Herkimer Generals. To see more of Ms. Ruffing's interview about what other changes can be expected here at Herkimer, check out our last broadcast of HCTV News on YouTube. Just type HCCC Radio TV in the search bar. Well, spring sports are coming and we'll continue to keep you updated here on HCTV News. But for today's edition of Sports Wrap, I'm Melissa Kral. Stick around, we'll hear your input in the question of the week when we come back. children and take poison. <laughs> Would you? Time now for the HCTV News Question of the Week. It's your turn to express your thoughts on campus-wide issues. Hello and welcome back to HCTV News here on HCTV. I'm Sean Messier. Thanks for joining us. Time now for our HCTV Question of the Week, where we comb the campus looking for your on-camera input. With spring, spring break just around the corner this week, HCTV News reporter Sean McCumber was asking students what they had in store for their week off from school. Hello and welcome to this week's edition of HCTV News' Question of the Week. I'm Sean McCumber and this week's question is, what are your plans for spring break? Well, this spring break I uh, planned on kicking back, just hanging out with my friends, you know, doing the regular thing, uh, maybe going to see a movie, something like that, just something a lot of fun, maybe the beach even, who knows? Um, my plans for this spring break is that, um, I'm going to go home, see my moms, get some food. Studying. Just studying. Well, I got a March 23rd. I got a little show coming up. I rap. You know what I mean? I go to Herkimer, but I rap. So people can come out and support. I got 40 tickets. My name is Cash Chef, Cash underscore underscore F on Instagram. Um, but I'm just chilling with my family. And March 23rd, my show at um, Webster Hall, New York City. Y'all can check it out. Cash Chef, again. You know what I mean? That's what I'm doing. Uh, practicing guitar, hopefully to, like, have band practice from the band that I just got together and hanging out with friends. Maybe some playing some video games here and there. Well, that's all the time we have for this week's Question of the Week. We've got some good answers, but back to you guys in the studio. Thanks, Sean. Be sure to tune in next week for another edition of the HCTV Question of the Week. And don't be shy if you see our crew around campus Thursday afternoon looking for your opinion. Well, stay with us. Coming up after the break, Melissa Kroll will sit down with music industry student Brandon Bro. That's straight ahead in our Newsmaker segment right here on HCTV News. Stay with us. Peaceful, calm, full of natural beauty, the Adirondack Park in upstate New York is the place for your outdoor adventures. Take a leisurely stroll as you browse the shops of scenic Old Forge. Take a dinner cruise along historic lakes. Boats depart at various times throughout the day from Old Forge Pond. Or head deep into the Adirondacks for a true wilderness experience. Set up at your own private campsite. Build a roaring fire. Take a relaxing canoe ride. Enjoy the natural splendor that's just up the road. The Adirondack Park, where you can get away from it all without going too far away. Are you ready to go? Then go ahead and visit www.apa.state 
www.ny.us for details regarding your next Adirondack adventure. Hello and welcome back to HCTV News. I'm Sean Messier, thanks for joining us. We're here each week at this time at, with, with a 30 minute newscast produced by Herkimer College Radio TV Broadcasting Majors. This live weekly newscast is a production of RT 263, an advanced video production class offered here at Herkimer College. Up next, Melissa Kroll has a special guest in our live newsmaker segment. Melissa? Thanks, Sean. And that's right, we do have a very special guest here today. I'm Melissa Kroll. This is Newsmakers. And joining me is Brandon B Bro. He's uh, a music industry uh, student here at Herkimer College. And he's also in a band, and he plays drums, and he does all kinds of stuff. Thanks for joining us here today. Thank you very much for having me. Now, you are in music industry. What made you interested in music in the first place? Well, music first started for me back, um, it's got to be at least five years ago, uh, my cousin Trevor. Uh, he had a guitar and he was really, really good and I always loved watching him play. And one day I finally just picked it up and he taught me a couple of things and then I've been learning ever since then. You actually taught yourself how to play, right? For the most part, I took a couple of lessons, but mostly it was all me. <laughs> that's, that's very impressive. So you've been doing this for a long time then, obviously. Um, I've been playing guitar for probably about five, six-ish years and I've been playing drums for probably about three years. So out of all of these years of playing uh, guitar and drums. What are your favorite experiences? Well, I think uh, my favorite one was back in my first band called Unshattered. Um, this was years ago. And we were just a regular old cover band, and we finally got a shot to play at, play out live, play a gig, and that was the biggest thing when you were our age. So w we got a chance to play out live, and when we finally got up on stage and played our song, we played a, a Rage Against the Machine uh, cover, and when we finally played it, our, our drummer stopped halfway through because he thought the song was over, but nobody could tell the difference. So that being my first show and the way it got, went and everything, I, I see that as my best experience in music so far, at least. Mm -hmm. um, almost like a sign as to what's to come, hopefully. Hopefully, right? hopefully what's to come is a lot better than that show. Yeah. What's, what's the dream, then? Dream? My dream since, since day one has always been selling out Madison Square Garden. Mm -hmm. I don't plan to stop till I get there. That's awesome. So who are your biggest inspirations in music, then? Um, Playing guitar, probably Joe Satriani and Paul Gilbert. Um, playing drums, got to be Mike Portnoy, uh, Dave Grohl, um, Neil Peart, and you know just all those guys. Um, but musically, probably my biggest influence is New Politics. I love those guys, and I love them ever since I saw them on Conan. And I finally got the chance to meet them actually uh, not too long ago in Vermont. I went to one of their shows, and randomly got meet and greet, and I was I was a fan girl. I've, <laughs> I've never been like that in my life, and that was ridiculous. It's what amazing. was it like to meet? someone who inspired you so much? It, I, I really can't explain it in words. It's like w when I went up there, I just, I, I froze and I just stared and I couldn't even get out words. It was just jumble. And it was just, it was one of the best feelings of my life. So much adrenaline at that moment. For a lot of people, music is an outlet to channel stress or whatever it may be. Do you find it being that for you? Well, yeah, I tend, um, when I play guitar, I tend to channel a lot of my emotion into that. But then playing drums is just probably the best stress reliever ever invented, you know, because I, I, I bet anybody, if they go and they beat on drums for at least a half hour, they'll feel so much better right after. Yeah. And uh, just one last question before we go to break. You are a student here at the college and you're in a band. Is it difficult balancing both? Can be, but you got to make it work. And you're working, too. Yeah, and yeah. a job. Uh, you know, you got to make it work, you know. You got to work hard and it's not going to come if you sit there and just don't do anything. So you got to go and get it. And that's what All I go right. for. All right, words of inspiration right there. We'll be back with more with Brandon on Newsmakers. Stay with us. When you call 911, you want a trained emergency medical professional to take care of you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Emergency medical services is a community effort. That's why we want you to join our team. Consider becoming an emergency medical technician. Pull over when an ambulance is approaching. Learn CPR. Urge your elected officials to support emergency medical services. Together, we can save lives. Ah, there's nothing like the changing of the seasons. The waterways are less crowded. The temperatures are colder. 
And for many unprepared or inexperienced boaters, it's the perfect opportunity to set sail, dip paddle, or let that motor rip. But there's one thing that never changes regardless of the season, and that's always remembering to wear a life jacket. A message from the New York State Office of Parks, Recreation, and Historic Preservation. Well, welcome back to Newsmakers. I'm Melissa Crawl, and I am sitting here joined by Brandon Bro. He is from the band Brian Howell and the Standalones. Um, we were just talking about what made you motivated to pursue music, and uh, let's talk a little bit about your band now. Your band isn't the typical local rock band, right? No, 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 no. Uh, we decided to go in a completely different direction with this band, and um, we're heavily influenced on 50s, uh, 60s style music, like Buddy Holly, that kind of stuff. But at the same time, we still try to make it modern and something that everybody can appeal to. Like, we, we go for diversity, and that's our thing. If someone went to your show, what, what would they expect? Like, I think we're seeing video now from the tram. Um, yeah, uh, at our shows, um, we, well, what our general thing is that we want is we love people to come up and dance. We've actually had a show where we've had couples slow dance in front of us, which was amazing. I felt like a high school prom, but, um, you know, other than that, we just love when people dance, you know, get in the music, sing our words, you know, everything like that. Yeah. Uh, all right, so what are some of your favorite shows then in the past? Um, with these guys, probably... We played, we played that show at um, Club Aqua not too long ago out in Bridgewater, and that was the one where we had couples slow dancing, you know, having a great time. And I just, a any time in music where the crowd is into it as much as I am, that's a good show to me. It, it doesn't matter who or where I'm playing, as long as they're into it, I'm into it. Definitely. I mean, I've been to a lot of concerts, too, and it seems like you can tell if the musician is feeling it or if they're not, and it's always more fun if they're into it and then everybody else gets into it. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. It, like it, a big party. It, it's the worst thing in the world when a crowd doesn't care that you're on stage. <laughs> it, <laughs> that is true. That would not that would not be good. So, what are some upcoming shows that people can see your band play at? Well, um, right now we have April twelfth booked. That is at um, that was at the Columbia in Utica with a bunch of other great bands. Um, and then I think we have April twenty fifth too. Um, we have a show at um, Traces in Rome. Nice. And I'm also very excited because your band will be playing here uh, yeah. at Herkimer College very soon, next month actually, for Play to the Camera, we are a live broadcast. Beyond excited for that. We cannot wait. Yeah. We usually have a nice little crowd in here. Oh, yeah. we. Um, I, I, hopefully I can get 30 people in here just going crazy. Nuts. That's what I want to hear. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And uh, for more information on your band or to hear some of your music, where can we go? Well, um, Facebook.com, Brian Howell and the Standalones. And there is also um, BrianHowellMusic.com, two places you can go to find us. Wow. All right. You heard it right there, folks. Brian Howell and the Standalones. Be sure to check it out. Thank you, Brandon Bro. Thank you. Send it back over to you, Sean. Okay, thanks, Melissa. We have some breaking news for you. The Herkimer Generals have fallen to Caldwell Tech at the NJCAA National Championship Tournament, 82-65. to Congratulations are still in order for Herkimer reaching the national championships. Well, thanks for joining us this week for HCTV News. Just a reminder, you can catch HCTV News every Thursday afternoon at 5 o'clock throughout this semester. You can also catch Encore presentations Fridays at 5 as well. Newscasts are also archived on our YouTube channel and find us on Facebook, too. For everyone here in the communication arts programs here at Herkimer College, I'm Sean Messier. Thanks for watching and have a great day.